money green. Jay's on the mic. And we are lyrics and lies. Lyrics and lies. I'm driving down the street and I see all these cars at the gas station. Why is everybody at the gas station when there's water at home? You have soap at home. How come you can't wash your car at home? That's the kind of comedy that Shades on the mic <laughs> loves. And she's going to tell us all about how she really enjoyed the Seinfeld special on Netflix. I did, I did. At first, I was like, where is Money Green going with this? But then once I found out where he was going, I said, oh, shut He trying to um, bring in the side field. Comedy. Mm-hmm. I think it was called 23 Hours. You just want to know what it's called. That's your boy. 23 Hours. That's not my boy. I, you know, I like Seinfeld. I like his show. And I never checked him out as a um, stand-up comic. So I wanted to see how his comedic style was. And I thought it was, it just it just reminded me of how he is in his show. So I, I, I thought it was good. I think sometimes it's nice to come out of our comfort zone and, and look at different comedians, different, um, you know, different co- comedians just, than just our black comedians. Mm-hmm. So he has his own brand of humor. He sure does. <laughs> but did you like it? Did you enjoy it or what? Uh I watched it about four times. What? In a span of about two hours. Because every time I fell asleep I had to rewind it back to the part where I fell asleep and play it. And I fall asleep again and I rewind it again. And I said, why am I so sleepy? I mean, I slept eight hours last night. Yet, I'm in the mood to count sheep. I don't understand it. But then I realized that his special is it's really good to help you sleep. So you're trying to say it's boring? Well, anybody that's an insomniac or is having a hard time going to sleep. All he has to do is is uh, watch his Seinfeld special uh, about thirty minutes before you want to go to sleep, and trust me, the Sandman <laughs> will be knocking on your eyelids very soon. Well, I didn't go to sleep on it because I I wanted to check it out. I like checking out different comedians and seeing how they are. So, you know, rather than looking at what we usually look at, David Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock. Um, the list goes on and on. So sometimes I like to throw in an, a different comic that I've never seen before. I even like Ken. Um, Ken, Ch- what, what's, what is his name? Ken Ch- Chung Cho. Um, doctor. He used to play on the show that came on TV, Doctor Ken. Why is Chris's last name Rock? Is he hard? Can you throw him across the lake? I don't understand it. Why is Kevin's last name Hart? Is he very thoughtful? Does he <laughs> does he feel deeply? Please help me understand. <laughs> so you must like it a little bit because you picked up on his brand of humor. <sighs> so you mean so you're trying to say <sighs> his humor is empty? Is empty humor? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> What are your thoughts Just on his I say that? <sighs> so did you ever like Seinfeld? Oh damn, I fell asleep talking about Seinfeld. Damn. My bad. Uh what'd you say? I said so you don't like Seinfeld. Seinfeld is okay. He's a, he's a nice okay, guy. Okay, elaborate on okay these. Well, so you, I you really don't like I, his stand up. I like you his, might like his show. I like his show on Netflix. I seen the um commercials of it. I seen, you know, little um little clips of it, but I never got a chance to see it. Only one I saw, um, and it wasn't in its entirety, it was um him and Steve Harvey. 
That's the only one I got a chance to see. All right, what is but it? But I never um, got to see it. So what is so what is driving with comedians? It's a uh, comedians in cars. I think that's it. All right, so what, uh, is he interviewing them? Uh, he he's actually talking to different comedians. So Seinfeld is a deep thinker. So he gets credit for that. Um, and he's a, a, a good or great conversationalist. But he doesn't carry the humor. But he's very organized with his writing and his his humor. It's very organized and it's, it's well written. It's just not funny. It's not funny to you. Well, of course I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about the entire world. I mean, Netflix paid him a lot of money, so they think he's funny. I think. Well, I think it's rare. I think you have to. I think you have. To, it's just like a drink. You have to acquire it. I think his thought process, like he said, is organized, and he he tries to think outside the box along the lines of things you may be thinking, or he might carry it to another level with it. Like you just said about um, Chris Rock's name. Why Rock's his last name Rock? How you know, does so. that? How does that one hair get above your head in the shower? I don't understand. Okay, I'm six feet tall. And the hair is six and a half feet on the wall. I never washed and showered up there. How did that hair get up there? Now that's actually taken from him. He actually said that in a skit or in, in uh, in a comedy bit on stage. And yeah, that's something that you may think about and not talk about, but that's just not funny to me. But right. but you well, but you but you love him and it's all good. I would tell you. That. I don't love him. I think he's entertaining. I mean, like there are some there are also some um, uh, rappers who has used the clip, and it might have been Kanye. I'm not sure. A clip of the Seinfeld show in his in their in their rap song. Wale did. Think, uh, uh, Wale did. Wale. Right. I knew it was somebody. He did well, a, my uh, point is... He did a, a mixtape. I think it's called the mixtape about nothing. Or the album about nothing. That was the title. That was probably back around 2012. And... Hey, Seinfeld has worked hard. He is respected. I do respect him. I respect his hustle and his creativity. But, like your boy D.L. Hewley said... I watched Seinfeld and I think he said I, I watch Seinfeld, I love him and respect him, but that's not my kind of comedy. That was D.L. Hewley's there you way, go. That was D. L. Hewley's way of saying he's not funny on stage. Well everybody has their respect for each comic and everybody has their own taste and brand of people. So that's why there's different comedians for everybody. So, uh, like I said, I wanted to check out him, and we always do certain people. So I kind of wanted to go out our comfort zone. We don't want to hear that. Yeah, since I thought about it, we don't since I thought that. about it, and I watched um, the the, um, the Netflix special. I was like, hey, to me it wasn't that bad. It was my first time nah, seeing him on stand up. Like, you love it. I thought, no, I only seen him on the Seinfeld show. I've never seen him do stand up. You said you just like I've never seen up. El- I've never seen Ellen do stand up until I saw it on her on Netflix. I always seen her show. I never see it's some comedians. I never seen them do stand up. But Ellen doesn't do stand up. Ellen has done stand up. I don't know why you keep saying that. You just don't like her stand up. I never no no. Stand-up. You got it wrong. Only time Ellen stands up is when she's strapped up. I'm not talking about that. We're not. We're not. We're not talking about her sexuality. Oh, you talking, talking about her comedic, her okay. comedic stand up when okay. she does stand up. And I'm talking. And actually, that's what this show is about. Is about comics. So it's not about anything outside of that, but being comedian. So we're not talking so about. I'm talking about her comedy. So we're not talking about Ellen telling her. We're not talking about nope. Ellen's girlfriend telling her to get the strap. Nope. I don't know nothing about that because I'm not in her bedroom. So you might be telling us something that you know that I don't know about. So if you got some information that you want to share with us, that's fine. But I don't know anything about that. We're not talking about Wanda Sykes' wife telling her to get the strap. Mm -mm. 
Okay. This, this ain't Wanda Sykes special. This is Seinfeld. Well, I'm going to tell you, I think Ellen is funnier than Seinfeld on stage. But I'm going to take this a step further. How in the hell, and I know the answer to this question, but how in the hell did Seinfeld get a special, let alone all that money for his special, and and, Net, and Monique didn't get one? Monique must have get the same deal Man. as Seinfeld. And I'm Seinfeld ain't had no controversy going on. I, I couldn't tell you that. All I can tell you is because Seinfeld has been out, and if you're trying to go with uh, white privilege, maybe that could be it. I don't know. But what I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I just wanted to see how this man did as a stand-up comedian. Ooh, it was t- that was- and as we can see, as we can see that uh, Money Green did not like it. I guess he gives it a two. Or maybe he doesn't even give it any points. Since I tell you what, about, I give I'm it- hard. I'm hard on a hoe. So th- this time is your turn. I'm not hard. being hard. I'm just being straight up. I give it three Z's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if you want to see a yeah, funny, that right. if you want to see a funny white guy, go watch. What's the guy who who uh, Dave Chappelle was talking about got in trouble for jerking off in front of them ladies? Was it Bill Burr? How, how the heck you gonna tell somebody what to watch and you don't even know their name? Bill Bill Burr on Netflix. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bill Burr on Netflix. He has several specials, and my cousin kept saying, "Yeah, you need to watch him. You need to watch him." And I watched it, and he's actually much funnier on stage. Than Seinfeld, but I'm not sure. But we'll see if you like his humor or not, because he's sort of like. Okay, a, if, 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 if we want to bring that to lyrics alive, I have no problem looking at it. He's almost like a a white D.L. Healy, almost, almost. Wow. You can see some pieces of Chris Rock, some D.L. Healy, and some uh, some Chappelle. You, you can see little fragments in there. And uh, he's not somebody that I was going crazy over, but his comedy is solid, and it is better than Seinfeld. So I think you may find it more enjoyable. Or maybe, maybe you won't, but we'll see. You just watch it. All right, so we're gonna wrap up Seinfeld. As we can see, that um, it put you to sleep. I thought it was interesting. Um, like I said, but um. I don't know if I have any points for it. I, I just, I just thought it was interesting. What you mean you don't know if you have any points? Still, no, you got to rate it. I just, I just thought, I just thought it was funny. No, I mean, I thought no. it was, I thought it had some humor to it. We don't want to hit this. So, you take um, the easy way out, Shades. You, you are not. I'm not taking no easy way out because I'm the one who said watch it because I wanted to check it out. We aren't letting you off the hook. What is your rating? I give it a, um, I give it a four. A four out of five. Oh, I'm thinking about ten. Um, oh, you... a four out? No, three, three point seven. Mm-hmm. So that's a seventy, like a seventy-five percent. So that's like a C plus. That's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. That's that's not what you said earlier. You was like, it's it is a great, it's a great special. Yeah, I, I, but it, it all specials have levels to it. I like again my my reason for looking at it because I never seen him as a stand up comedian. Always seen him on a show, on on or you know being interviewed, but I never seen it. So, you know, as I looked at the whole show, there was my moments that was funny, and there was moments that was like, oh okay. A whole show? You watched um, the whole show? His rent. What whole show? I watched are you talking his about? whole show. I said I watched his whole show. He has a whole show. I didn't know about that. No. W H O L E. Oh. Whole show. I was about to say, Seinfeld got holes? Okay, you have to enunciate a little more. I can't do but so much with the braces on, so I'm doing my best. Okay. And I don't, I don't dabble in holes, but if you said it was a, a good show with a. I, do- I doubt it, but we'll go, we'll go past that and then wrap up the show. Well, I, no, before you wrap it, I will say that. I did enjoy the opening. How he mm. made it how he made it to the stage. So that was that was really good. Well, I'm glad something kept your attention for five minutes before you went to sleep. Yeah, now that gets an A. That doesn't get a Z. It, it gets an A or five stars, the opening. 
everything uh, from the, you know, when it first comes on to him walking on stage, that was brilliant. But people will see it if they check it out, they'll know what I'm talking about. Well, if y'all haven't already, you know, check it out. And I'm sure I'm going to get some comments and some backlash or but I don't care because I wanted it to, to, re- to review it, and we did. So. Why would you get backlash? Seinfeld Thank has you. Of, he has a lot of fans. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode. Why are we watching Seinfeld? Don't forget on Netflix. to like, subscribe, and share. Why haven't you subscribed? Why are you listening and not subscribing? How will you hear about the next show? I don't know. Don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't. We're out. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't.